I know you're all probably curious about the ongoing development of FL Studio. So today, I thought I'd give you a little preview of the new FL Studio version 12.5. This version is still in beta testing. It will most likely be released in a couple of weeks from now. This new version has some nice features that I thought I'd show you real quick in this video. If this is your first time here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to make sure you don't miss anything. When you launch FL Studio 12.5, the first thing you're going to notice is the new picker panel that has been added to the playlist. This was done in order to improve pattern management. You can drag patterns directly into the playlist. You have most of the essential tools available here, such as grouping, coloring, clone pattern, and so on. If I wanted to find this pattern in the playlist, for example, I can click here, select in playlist, and it will be highlighted. Another key feature in this version is the ability to render a pattern to audio directly from the picker panel. This is not a new instant freeze, unfreeze function, just to clear that up. I know a lot of people have been waiting for that. Rumor has it, a new and improved freeze and unfreeze function is planned for FL Studio version 13. Another thing that strikes the eye is this new mini playlist preview. For those of you who know Ableton, this should be very familiar. It's very clear where this is coming from. It's definitely a nice addition, as this is something I like a lot about Ableton. It makes it easier to know where in the project you are at all times. Not everyone will agree on this, of course, and for those of you who don't, relax, it can be turned off. The same goes for the picker panel. You can now choose to add a mini piano roll too if you want. There's also a new dark keyboard style option if you should prefer that. I think I'll stick with one of these two. I like the fact that you can now select unused automation, patterns, and so on here. If you have a lot of unused automation or patterns piled up, you can now select all of them here and delete them all at once. Another addition in version 12.5 is the option to hide the plugin wrapper by default. A new type in value option has been added for automation clips. Several more plugins now have vector graphics. Those are what I feel are the most important things. A lot to be excited about here. There's also a long list of bug fixes, of course. And the best thing of all, this update will be 100% free thanks to the lifetime free updates you get when you buy FL Studio. 
If you haven't paid for it yet, I encourage you to do so. By doing that, you help support the developers in their efforts to improve FL Studio. Here's a full list of features and changes so far. Note that this is still a beta version, which means that it's still being tested and tweaked. The final version might even have more features or changes may have been made. There's two features that I'd like to see added to FL Studio, and that's track folders in the playlist, like in Cubase and many other DAWs. This makes it much easier to organize. The other feature I'd like to see is a simple one-button freeze-unfreeze function, like in Ableton and most other DAWs. I'm curious though, what kind of features would you like to see added in FL Studio? Let's have a little discussion in the comments below. Let me know what you would like to see added or changed. I hope you liked this video. If this is your first time here, you might want to check out some of my tutorials for FL Studio. Check out the links in the description below. And as always, feel free to like, comment, and share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. If you would like to support my work, you can head over to my Patreon page. You can find the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment.